All right, now we live. It's your boy Carcino here, and let's go over the fight. We have okay. They finally fixed the lighting. I like that. Okay, they're gonna replay on HBO the Pacquiao's Rios fight first. Then we got Tony Bello and Stevenson versus Kovalev. Well, it's a double header with Kovalev and Ishmael Shalit. Now, Ishmael Shalit, that fight with Kovalev, that fight might push Kovalev past five rounds. Now, Ishmael Shalit is a very slick fighter. He works behind the jab. He waits for you to lean, make mistakes, and use a lot of movement. There's been a lot of questions on could he take a punch, you know, since his first loss. He is very arrogant. He's very confident in his abilities. But he is a good boxer. He's a solid boxer. And this is the first time you've seen a real solid American style fighting in there with uh, Kovalev. Now, will Kovalev pressure be too much for the kid? I think so. I think if he does get a stoppage, it will be late. At like 9 or 10, he'll get a stoppage there. But Ishmael Shalik should be enough to take him into the later rounds. Um, I see Ishmael Shalik winning a couple of rounds too. Now let's go to the Tony Bellows. We all saw the little mini thing in there. This is what Tony Bellows using to try to get into the head of Stevenson. Now Stevenson is going to come out blasting because Tony Bellows is not prepared for the power of Adonis Stevenson. But what Stevenson's problem is, he's not active enough. He doesn't use the jab enough. And Tony Bello can get himself back into the fight if he could weather the storm early. In the later rounds, Bello can make the fight a little closer. I don't see this being a, a, a stoppage. I see this going 12 rounds. And I see um, Tony Bello losing a close decision. 12 rounds. I mean, I see him coming back in the fight. He might get bat bruised and battered up, but I think he's going to have some moments in the fight when it starts going into the later rounds. I think he's going to have have his moments, have his, have his little set. So, that's my prediction of the fight, um, both fights. And there's a lot of stuff going on right now that's in the works that we can't talk about right now. The Burgos-Garcia fight. That should be getting done soon, and a couple other stuff going on. But at this time, present time, just to keep from the fights falling apart, we cannot talk about them right now. And Joseph Abego signing with Top Rank is official. That is done. But. We'll go from there and see how that fight comes up with Rigondeaux. I know y'all just dying to hear what I think about that fight. <laughs> I'm out.